Good afternoon, folks. This is Marius from MariusLandman.com and from the Twitter handle LandM underscore Marius. We are the only authentic Twitter handle account in the entire world, and please make sure that you do, that you do follow us there. Okay, just quickly, this is going to be an update from the Litecoin video that I did earlier. Uh, I think it was last month that we did it, and I showed you the historical view of Litecoin. Now, what I'm going to do is to give you a little bit more confidence and show you what we see in Litecoin. We see Litecoin reaching a thousand dollars and beyond, and in years to come, in the in the next two to four years, we even see Litecoin reaching a twenty thousand dollar mark uh, per Litecoin. You have to understand that Litecoin is only four hundred and eight days old, approximately. Um, at one point we had Microsoft, we had uh, Google, we had Apple. Those coins were at one stage 30 cents, one dollar, five dollars. And these stocks are 30 years old and, and more. So you look at Litecoin which is only 408 days old and we're already standing on 152 dollars per coin. Guys, the, this thing is going to blow up. It's going to it's going to make the stocks that are already huge, like Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, old stocks. It's going to make them look really small in years and years to come, because we are about to to have a hyperbolic increase in cryptocurrencies that the world has never ever seen before i get goosebumps if i just think about the knowledge that i have now with regard to cryptocurrencies and i see where these things are going i see no huge downside i see increase and an increase that makes me say that listen we're gonna have certain coins will have a thousand percent increase certain coins will have a thirty thousand percent increase over years and years to come and Litecoin will definitely reach the point where it's going to have a $20,000 price point per Litecoin. Guys, those, those figures are true. They are going to happen. If we look at Litecoin now, where I said about a month ago that Litecoin is going to reach $1,483, I want to show you what I show. But also remember that you as a investor in Litecoin need to have a little bit more patience. If you wait 30 days or 60 days or 90 days just to have enormous profits, it doesn't matter guys. So be patient, hold your coins, invest smart, but I'm going to show you something uh, really remarkable and this is why I say that you you must not get out of Litecoin it's a and remember this video is not financial advice okay I'm only going to show you what I see and why I am holding Litecoin now as I go into this is the big picture that I want to show you on my screen and then I'm going to go into this little th end here right at the end where it says one day so you can see that I'm on the five day mark here and I'm going to zoom in uh, to show you what happened with uh, Litecoin right at the beginning when uh, when it first started and this will actually open your eyes really when you see what I see and uh, you start to see the big picture okay now way back in the day when I wanted to invest in Litecoin and I should have but I never did exactly like people now should invest in Litecoin when it's $152 and going to 160 180 then 200 then 300 and then a thousand dollars people are gonna look back when it's a thousand dollars and say listen I could have got into Litecoin when it was $150 okay the same we're looking back now and saying we should have bought when it was three dollars okay now look at this to go from this low to this high took about 34 days and if you look at that percentage gain that was 84 percent okay let's move on now we look at February 13 this is in 2017 we look at from that point there right to that high point there okay we look at that point there and we say that Litecoin took 78 days to achieve that okay now look at what happened here it took one day for Litecoin just to push up and reach a high point and another one day just to reach the high point and remember this as I will come back to this at some point or, or we can just carry on and I'll show you what I see 
Okay, so pay very, very close attention here. Now, this little move here for Litecoin to actually go up, let's say, to either that little point there was approximately 242%. Okay, the next parabolic move, and, and have a look at this, guys. It was one day and another big day there. So one day, two, three, four, five, six. So within a week, it just jumped up completely. Okay, and that is 242% that it jumped up. The next hyperbol hyperbolic move, in my opinion, was another 256% here. Uh, let's actually make it from about there. So you look at about 150, 185% where it actually went up right down to that little wick there. And that again took approximately, if we look at this, you look, you look at approximately... 29 days that was a little bit longer there uh, 90 days so you look at 34 days 89 days 29 days again folks this is not exactly to the T but I just want to get a point across okay now another 43 days to go from this little low point there to that little high point there and you look at that 110 percent and that Although this took six days, this one you took one, two, three, four, five days. Okay, so keep that in mind, 110%. Now we get to this one here. Took six days again from that low point, one, two, three, four, five, six days to reach that high. And again, if you look at this, it took 66 days. And then the last one that we had was 106 days, more or less, from that low point there approximately there and it went up to approximately 656 percent and again that took one two three four five five days to move up now let's go to where we are today and I'll quickly show you what I see here okay now look at that move there 656 percent if we say this is 656 percent again now remember this took 90 days, 89 days. Don't you think that we are well, 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 well overdue for a move upwards? Okay, so we look at about year 98. Let's make that 180 days perhaps. Um, from our calculations we say it should happen uh, close to that point there which we say it could be 151 days and if I were to draw a line we can possibly say that that could be the line where we could find a hyperbolic move a hyperbolic move is anything there if you look at this line on the outside here where it's going up and then suddenly takes six days to do the same movement that is done there now, if that were to go up to, let's say, that point there, you look at a thousand dollar Litecoin. But if you if you look at a more probability, you can probably say that we could experience this. In effect, what I'm saying is that we could perhaps go like this and suddenly just have a hyperbolic move up which will propel Litecoin to that phase here. And this is why we initially said that our initial target for Litecoin was 1483. Now that target, we initially thought that that target could easily be achieved around about that level there. Okay. So if we if we are there now and we say okay right let's say we move that timeline on then we could easily say that that this looks plausible even if you take the same percentage there that Lycon has moved up there and go out and break up here somewhere so folks in our opinion what we believe is that between now and the 20th of May is something that we need to carefully have a look at uh, and at this point in time I'm very cautious to give you a time frame everything in the cryptocurrency market in our opinion has, has probably been slowed down by between four and six weeks and this happened exactly at the point of 10th of March 
where we predicted the the breakout for Bitcoin to happen exactly on a certain date and time and it actually did not happen as a matter of fact it's actually really interesting and I just spoke to one of our clients today who was in our office today and um, we had a look at Bitcoin and we exactly at 0, 0.000 hours minus 4 UTC time which is the New York time Bitcoin literally went and broke down on the 10th of March instead of going up as what we predicted now that folks that's manipulation that's something that we do not have control over and the, exactly the same with Litecoin at the moment you know we we thought that Litecoin would have been at least by $1000 um, well at least about $600 now and heading here into let's say the end of this month that we could have a breakout to around about 600 700 and eventually a thousand dollars but in my opinion we look at another 25 days it could go sideways for a while and maybe break out here later in June but what I can tell you this is that what you see on the screen here and I want to reiterate this this is the move that Litecoin is going to do now whether that is prolonged and it stretches out if it stretches out it just means that Litecoin is going to go higher okay you you can't go you can't go lower than that you know you the point will actually just become higher if the time stretches out and then you look at nineteen hundred dollar litecoin eventually and then that is close to june july august but i tell you now that we believe that this can be very very close to round about that figure and let's just keep that hyperbolic uh, segment in there now remember this is only for you know this is not a technical analysis folks this is just a visual to show you where we see Litecoin going now let me show you what we see way way ahead now if I were to delete all these little let's see if we can delete them uh, just a little bit here just to clear up the screen a little bit so because I want to give you an understanding of where we are heading okay now um, on your screen what you can see here is the the graph for Litecoin and remember okay let me just go through this maybe perhaps I'll show you what we see here and then we ca will carry that on okay okay first of all what we saw, saw here is a breakout okay we saw another breakout there as we head into this we saw another breakout there we saw another one there okay okay so you saw the breakout there one two three four and then there's another breakout and you saw this is going to be really interesting when you actually have a look at what I want to show you here now we saw another upswing here where it broke down went sideways and then suddenly there it breaks up okay now so that's number one two three four five six and then we've got to number seven now what we are saying is that if history repeats itself and we have another one of those it's gonna go like this okay there okay there you go one two three four five six seven okay now this is still where our target is now I know a lot of trading analysis guys will hit me here on YouTube and say this is really bad, bad technical analysis this is not intended to be technical analysis this is just to show you plain and simple what we see if this from the three dollar point went up to where it is now a hundred and uh, 52 dollars which is now there sure to impress that this will actually go up and break that point and break the all all time high really really easily what if this thing does the same comes down there 
it does the same kind of ratio and we look here at March 2019 and let's squash that up again and it's becoming really really small and what if it does it again and the same proportional and it goes up to 619 or six thousand dollar and a coin and what if going further into the year that it does that again and does that again and the reason I'm doing this guys is just to show to you now that where how why that is really really important that you actually just be a little bit patient because what if this then breaks out again and does that same move and there we are at the twenty thousand dollar point which is not impossible when you think about this for this now we have to go to the weak range and um, when you look at all these assimilate together and you look at it from a larger viewpoint you can literally see that it's not impossible for Bitcoin actually to reach those levels and it makes it actually really really little on the chart now let's just zoom in a little bit and look at the volume uh, just on the weekly chart uh, I may have to go there to the day chart uh, just to show you a little bit there okay okay let's just have a look at the other one yeah quickly okay to get back to this one now if you look at this where we had that I think that was about an 80, 84% rise we had volume coming in there okay now you can literally let's just take this one away there and you can literally see the volume there then at that point there we had about a hundred and eighty percent increase but every single time we actually had a look at volume that actually increased and there we go again to huge volume there what is missing here between this time frame of let's say around about uh, where are we now around about 50 45 days around uh, is only the volume now one of the top things that you need to look at here and this is something that will give you a warning signal uh, for you to know that Bitcoin is due to break up is if we see these long weeks of volume coming in here and it'll start similar to that it will go up and down up and down and similar to that now this volume here should actually probably outshine that top and once that happens you'll see that Litecoin will simply just break out so yes um, we are keen to look at Litecoin breaking out around about <laughs> again I don't want to put a time frame in but for me personally I'm looking at around about the 20 May between now which is now the 20 third between the next four weeks is something that we really need to have a look at Litecoin you know uh, I believe that we are gonna go up around about yet to the $300 mark perhaps because uh, if you look at the Bitcoin chart uh, just quickly you can see that we predicted Bitcoin to go down we call the low around about 6500 mark since then it's shot up and uh, we were talking about the let me just see why that is just make that white we talked about the pattern of advances in our records or reports and we said these are pattern of advances and then it will break out and will go like that the whole time so that in effect is our pattern of advances we expect another one there as we head up to the eleven thousand dollar mark and again for you guys that are subscribers uh, just remember that we said that the 35 percent mark is our target that should bring us to about eleven thousand dollars so if bitcoin goes up you can expect that Litecoin will go up as well so Litecoin could go up somewhere around this range here breaking at the resistance of 239 go up to about 250 maybe 300 and lo and behold if all these things took about a day two three or six days like what we mentioned in um, I think it's in this one where we said we have mentioned the days where we said that Litecoin literally in five days one two three four five just broke 
that level of resistance there and uh, it's happened over the period of time over the historical charts where we also had one two three for five days one two three for five days one two three for five and it just within three to five days it simply just breaks out now don't be that guy when Litecoin gets to this level where you say oh I've doubled my profit now I'm gonna sell out maybe sell half of your bit Bitcoin or Litecoin rather and keep the rest in there because at any given time this can actually break out now we expect um, a little bit more sideways movement but somewhere around this line here we could have a impact where it could actually go up similar to that so if that is being duplicated six five six percent um, let me just put that in the chart there from about there six five six you look at about there which is about a thousand one hundred so we could easily we could easily see it in this range guys it's a to be honest with you it's a question of time you know so it's just a question of time we need to be patient I can't see any reason that Litecoin will not reach this target somewhere there above a thousand dollars literally in the next four five six weeks again guys just be patient so yeah there you have it this is uh, the historical chart we believe that this is going to happen uh, I've got faith in you to hold your coins I've got faith in you when you invest we're doing the best we can and uh, we wish you good luck and have a blessed day thank you it's Marius here